the way, Kev, what game are you doing before I mention Hoffenheim and Bochum? Uh, I'm doing Leverkusen Augsburg. Oh, so nice. I will be obviously entirely neutral. Uh, of course you will. Of course you will. That's okay. So, yeah. That's okay. Listen, um, producer, no, you're fine. You can stick Hoffenheim back up. No problem at all. Um, Hoffenheim versus Bochum. Good luck. Uh, Hoffenheim, minus one, uh, minus 105. So do you think that... That's a free hit for the home side. I'm not so sure. I think this is a game where both teams enter and think that they can get something out of it. Money lines lopsided against the home side at minus 170. Now, Bochum at plus 425. Bochum double chance is at minus 115. The goals are set at three. I mean, both teams score an over. I mean, this is another one named Alex Classics. The draw is firmly a player. And look at the size of that. Plus 345. Alex, I, I, I couldn't... I couldn't split these two sides because it's too obvious to go with a home one. I think that they both need a reaction after the first uh, uh, the round one defeats. Both of them are coming uh, on the back of defeats here. Uh, I don't think that they will risk. So I think that uh, if you play the draw, you play it at halftime, not at full time. I think that we'll see a different uh, second half. I think that uh, at the end, one of them will win. I don't think that we ever saw, okay, only last year they played since uh, uh, 2010 in, uh, uh, in Bundesliga, but uh, both games uh, finished with uh, Bochum winning them. Uh, so I don't think that we'll see a draw here, but yeah, you cannot separate the two teams, uh, most of all because Hoffenheim are at home. Uh, very poor, both of them in the first, uh, I, I, it's not a match that I will, that I will even consider to, to watch. Of course, that I will watch on Monday every single match of uh, the round, but uh, not live. I don't want to see this match live. I think that it will be a boring match. I'm even thinking under 2.5, if you believe it or not. Yeah, Kev, I mean, you've got to go again. We've got to be uh, consistent here that we're saying it's Hoffenheim's first game of the season at home, and they create chances, and they have goal scorers. So, I mean, is minus one a free hit, or is it one of those that, uh, we're just going to see goals. I mean, if this was at over two and a half, I mean, the over three is saying at minus 125. I mean, the way to go, uh, as you'll see, it is it, from the tip is, is that I've gone with the handicap because I think minus one minus 105 is a free hit, I think. Because I, I said from the get-go, I think Bochum have done some underwhelming transfer business. I still believe that. I think they've lost a lot of key players. Lost Maxim Leitch, they've lost Arma Belikotchap at the back. Lost players in midfield as well. Lost Sebastian Polter, which I think is massive for them to lose the centre forward of his intensity and his quality. Borkum, even though they're back in the Bundesliga, second season now since they won promotion, do not have a huge amount of money to play with. And so I think there are gaps all over that team. I think Riemann's one of the best goalkeepers in the league, and I think we'll see that again this season. But I look at Hoffenheim. And even though there are questions to answer about just how effective Andre Brighton Writer will be as coach, I thought they started well against Gladbach, got that goal. And uh, they've got Angelino down the left. He's not as good as David Raum, that, that's clear, but he is a good player. Christoph Baumgartner I like a lot. Loads of quality in attack with Ruter and Andre Kramaric. And I just think the squads, there's a big quality gap between those two squads. Hoffenheim in general had some good performances at home. They were better at home than they were away under Sebastian Hernes. He's gone. But I, I do feel like this is a bit of a mismatch. And so to back Hoffenheim to win the game at all, and if you win by one game, you get your stake back. And if they win by yeah. more, you get a winner at near to evens. I'll take that. Okay. Um, yeah, it's one of them games. I had to leave it alone. But you're, you're obviously just going to go with that push as a basically a little bit of an insurance policy uh, I think I think there is goals in the game though I think there is uh, definitely both teams to score and overs an option as well but listen we've got to go with our man who's actually put the selection up so it's Hoffenheim minus one at minus 105 I've left it Alex has left it 